Hello ladies and gentlemen and finally the first month of 2019 has passed and February has kicked in hopefully so today we will discuss what's going to happen in February although whatever I say in this video will not be applicable 100 or 90 or even 80 or even 70 or even 60 or even 50 maybe 20 to 30 or 40 percent of this is applicable to you and to your horoscope because the results which come as per astrology are based on your individual dasha which you are running okay because each and every one of us will be running a different dasha although the planets may be same but the planets will be sitting in different nakshatras in different padas in different zodiac signs with different conjunctions and in different dignities okay so it will depend on your entire horoscope on what happens at the end of the day but we can still use the monthly transits to get an idea where the focal point is shifting in our life all right so there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding your coming month or any area like marriage or career or relationships or health then you can go to my website you will find the link to the website down in the description section of my videos and yes before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so now february is going to be a very interesting month why do i say this because it is uh, coming to the climax of the rahu ketu's final or the last degrees of Rahu Ketu in Cancer and Capricorn respectively because Rahu and Ketu they will be going into Gemini and Sagittarius by <coughs> the beginning of March and by beginning of March Mercury will also go retrograde in the sign of Pisces and that is why I said that this February this month will <coughs> will mark the endings of many come many many things which we were wanting to do in our life because as soon as february starts the major transits uh, are changing so rahu ketu is changing then uh, sun mercury venus always keeps changing and interestingly in march jupiter will also enter sagittarius for some time and in april it will again go back so jupiter will also be in the final degrees of Jishta Nakshatra during February and March and Saturn as we already know he has entered Purvashada recently and he is going to stay there and from after February because Ketu will also enter Sag so Saturn Ketu's conjunction will also start from March all right so <clears throat> the month of February Venus is going to be conjunct Saturn for most of the month because Venus and Saturn got together in 29th February I guess that was the date and uh, because of that we can feel that most of the things that we find pleasure in are not giving us that level of pleasure <laughs> as we expected that always happens when uh, Saturn and Venus comes together in conjunction in transit that happens for one year uh, sorry one month 25 days approximate unless venus is retrograde in that same sign where it stays for around four months so now <coughs> currently venus is in the sign of sagittarius and till the end of february almost third fourth week it will still be there and then saturn and venus will exactly be conjunct and as we know venus is moves faster than saturn so Venus will go and he will overtake Saturn he will cross Saturn and go ahead and uh, this time which will happen near around uh, you know mid of February during that time this is happening when Venus is crossing Saturn in the third week so during that time it is essential that we get grounded and we do not focus too much on things that we used to which we think that should give us pleasure or things which we thought that would give us pleasure pleasure especially if your ascendant is in taurus or in libra then 
you can feel that your life has come to a halt things have got stuck suddenly out of nowhere and you can feel that my efforts are not being rewarded that can happen and in beginning of this transit venus will be in mula nakshatra till around 7th or 8th or 9th january uh, february so for taurus and libra lagnas it is a time to do a lot of things which you always wanted to do because now venus your lagna lord is transiting mula nakshatra which shows building foundations okay and after that venus goes to purva shada where it will meet saturn so purva shada is known as the winnowing basket where we filter out those things which we need and which we don't need so in the remaining part from around 10th to around 23rd 24th it can happen that whichever houses venus is ruling in your chart regarding those houses you do lot of filtrations and then afterwards when it enters the first part of uttara shada when <coughs> which is again in sagittarius which will be around after 23rd or 24th around that time if i am right i guess i mean <laughs> then you will see that you will feel as if your actions have been rewarded that time because uttara shada is the nakshatra which which indicates us that our victory is now complete and we have consolidated it okay but when it is in purva shada it can happen that we are still fighting the war so just check wherever taurus and libra is falling so depending on that those houses will undergo this flavor but because it is with saturn it can happen that we feel that we are fighting the war for a very long time and then sun and mercury is conjunct in the sign of capricorn where ketu is also there and uh, mercury i don't know mercury has moved into aquarius or it is going to move in i don't know because my internet is not working now so <laughs> i'm unable to check it but still i will uh, make so uh, at least we know that sun and ketu are conjunct okay so sun and ketu are conjunct in the sign of capricorn so what happens when sun and ketu comes into conjunction when sun and ketu come into conjunction it can happen that we want to have this existence what is this existence this existence is nothing but the sun okay so we want to have our own individual existence but then ketu comes and tell us that you will not have it here or you will not have it the way you think you should have okay so then what can happen is we get a feeling that as if the sun is not there with us which does not mean that sun is sun has disappeared from our place but it simply means that we might we might sometimes get a feeling that as if for that one month from 15 january to 15 february it's like saying you have to live without the sun without the sun means you have to live without the feeling that you exist in this world and because this is happening in capricorn this can do uh, this can have connotations re regarding our discipline or our work ethics or the way we work the way we like to work the way we do not like to work okay those areas can be affected so now what is happening sun mercury and ketu they are conjunct in this sign so now along with sun mercury is also there so mercury is what mercury is our communication mercury is our ability to understand what somebody else is going through so now when mercury transits in earth signs it's a great time ob obviously it's a great time to make notes to formalize things related to money and finances especially capricorn because it's the original 10th house of the zodiac a uh, 10th sign sorry not house so because of that there is a lot of focus on our finances and on our ability to sustain in this world because capricorn also represents the knees and as in hindi they say na uh, what they say ghutne <laughs> apne pairon pe khada ho gaya na so uh that therefore it's very important that 
the knees so the knees are strong you know which means that our ability to mark our own individual existence which happens most of the times through our finances through our name fame status and reputation is very is very much supported during this time but because ketu is there there can be a feeling that what i am doing is not what i should be doing or what i am supposed to do maybe i am not doing that okay and then by uh, the 10th of february around mercury will be going to the sign of aquarius around near about 10th so when mercury goes into aquarius oh no mercury is going quite quite early around uh, 7th i guess yes so during that time what will happen is mercury will be separated from ketu yes on 6th it is entering so uh, it will be separated from ketu and that's a great time and aquarius is also dignity wise another friend sign like capricorn and mercury does fantastic in air sign so now now is the time when mercury goes into aquarius from 7th to end of the month it's a time that we revive our communication whatever it it could have happened because rahu is also in punarvasu it could have happened that you wanted something to happen and you made a request to somebody but it didn't happen now it can happen that you might have to make the request again so maybe this time it happens <laughs> okay so that that's how you have to see because aquarius is that collective consciousness where mercury wants that my ideals my beliefs my thoughts i also need to listen to others so whichever houses mercury is ruling in your chart regarding those houses you will feel that there is a collective notion that you need to uh, need to accommodate otherwise things may not work during february which is like saying so for example suppose mercury is your uh, fourth lord for example suppose you are a gemini lagna and mercury is your lagnesh and your fourth lord also because the sign virgo is in your fourth house so it can happen that now apart from your school you might have to take some courses online which people are studying hmm? because aquarius represents what the collectively the world is doing where the world is heading okay and this will become more prominent once sun also joins the sign of aquarius with mercury again so then you will realize that the areas where sun and mercury where, where sun and mercury are ruling regarding those houses there are certain things which you cannot ignore which others say so for example if uh suppose you are an aquarius lagna itself okay so then uh, sun is your seventh lord so the seventh lord is coming into the lagna and it's in the sign of aquarius so when sun comes then it can happen that you if there are some problems in your marriage because seventh house shows marriage then you can take help from some of your friends or you can just see how to uh, mitigate that problem you can do a google search or you can find videos in youtube or you can talk to a counselor or you can talk to a friend aquarius is also the 11th sign which shows friends okay there may be some things which everybody is doing but i don't know why you are not doing <laughs> so that can happen and then of course uh during the entire month uh, venus and saturn will be conjunct and uh, by the 4th week of february i guess venus will be conjunct ketu so yeah around from 25th it is going to be conjunct so venus will then again enter another uh, friend sign now it will enter capricorn sorry yes so Uh, sagittarius is not a friend sign sagittarius is the sign of jupiter which is, uh, and jupiter venus are enemies in astrology we know that not that they are any mikel but their traits are completely contrary one represents happiness beyond matter and one represents pleasure inside matter so when venus is in sagittarius you know, almost first 3 4 weeks of february it, it can happen that we 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 might need to take a reality check on things that are as per law supposed to give us pleasure <laughs> and 
and then we didn't when it enters Capricorn then what we want because Capricorn is also having that flavor of karma basically so Venus in Capricorn can be a good energy to work for our desires so Venus in Capricorn I would say workaholic workaholic doesn't mean he's working 24 hours but when he gets a chance to do something which can benefit him monetary wise or give him some name and fame then he's very good at it and for one week uh, or yeah around one week to 10 days 25th february to march first week ketu will also be there okay so during the mid of february venus will be very close you know will it will be very close to ketu and yeah around 20th around so it will be 28th 21st during that time it will exactly be because ketu is exactly in the border you see and uh, ketu is in the last degree of capricorn and 22nd 23rd venus will be in the last degrees of sagittarius so it's like zero degree capricorn 29 degree sagittarius so so libra ascendance and taurus ascendance you need to watch out for that day okay because venus will cross ketu and he will go so that day can be a bit challenging because you may feel that your entire life is moving nowhere but hold on it's only for one week okay from 24th to uh, first week of march when ketu is finally leaving and <coughs> apart from that jupiter is now sitting alone in the throne of jeshtha nakshatra yes <coughs> so two more months jupiter will be in jeshtha nakshatra so when jupiter is in jeshtha nakshatra <coughs> it's a great time to throw light on those things which we want to do so badly you will always realize that whenever any planet transits jeshtha nakshatra certain traits of that planet will come out in a way that you want to achieve them at any cost so now depending on the houses which jupiter is ruling in your chart it is a great time to work on those things okay it is a great time to understand that if i want to stay in this world then i will need to struggle otherwise it can it may not happen nothing happens easily in this world so that's the lesson which jupiter is throwing and because jupiter is the great benefit so we feel very optimistic about fighting a battle okay because jeshta has these traits of indra and vritra so that story is there and saturn as we all know it is in purva shada okay and i'll just speak about what is going to happen with mars so mars has been in pisces and on the 1st of february it is in the last degrees of pisces so i guess around the <coughs> 6th or 7th of february it is going to <coughs> enter its own sign yes <coughs> on 5th it is entering as per german time in the night so mars is entering its mool trigon sign aries okay so now you will suddenly see that because mars had been in ketu and then uh, aquarius and then pisces <laughs> and now it is going to enter ashwini nakshatra from 5th february or 6th you can take and for 45 days as we know around it will stay there so it will roughly stay there for a you know, long time it's like third week of march it will stay there till then so this is a great time to now feel lively about the areas which mars rules in your chart so suddenly you will feel that the houses which mars is ruling in your chart they will suddenly become more active you will suddenly again start feeling that things are happening related to that area you will suddenly feel that there is immense growth in that area because it's entering mul it's multricorn sign aries is the multricorn sign so that's a great placement to have so if you are uh capricorn lagna if you are a libra lagna or if you are a aries lagna or if you are a cancer lagna you know these four movable lagnas you will be enjoying the mahapurush yoga which is formed by mars known as ruchaka mahapurush yoga which is formed when mars is exalted in own sign or in 
मूल त्रिकोण इन दी केंद्र हाउसेस ओके बिकॉज फॉर यू एरिस विल ऑलवेज बी इन दी केंद्र फॉर दीज फोर मूवेबल असेंडेंट सो फॉर दीज फोर इट्स अ ग्रेट टाइम टू स्टार्ट ऑफ थिंग्स अगेन वेर एवर यू लेफ्ट ओके स्पेशली आई वुड पर्सनली से फॉर एरिस असेंडेंट्स एंड फॉर स्कॉर्पियो असेंडेंट्स इट्स अ ग्रेट टाइम बिकॉज देर लग्नेश इज गोइंग टू एंटर द फायरी साइन ऑफ एरिस विच इज इट्स मूल त्रिकोण साइन and mars will cross the gandanta okay so first week of february gandanta is the ending of a water sign and beginning of a fire sign so mars will be crossing the gandanta zone from pisces to aries so depending on whichever houses mars is ruling in your chart you could feel that things which you thought once upon a time would give you success in that area is now dissolving and new things are happening a new cycle is beginning okay and apart from that as i forgot to say in the beginning that on february 4th there is the new moon which is happening in the uh, sign of capricorn where sun and moon are conjunct yes 4th february afternoon german time so in india it will be around night i guess so sun moon mercury and ketu are in the sign of capricorn that day so wherever capricorn is it is going to be a very important house for you that day and new things a new cycle related to those areas of your life will begin okay so if it is in the 7th house new cycle continue related to marriage can happen so for capricorn ascendants it's a new beginning of your own life itself and then on 18th around let me check the dates yes yes almost it is 18th or i would say better 19th okay 19th would be more accurate i guess 19th and 19th or 20th so 19th 20th we have the purnima which is there when sun and moon are exact seven houses apart sun is in aquarius and moon is in leo that time so that is the time when the capricorn leo axis gets the full optimum light which means that is the time when uh, around 1920th of february we will start feeling that that house that axis wherever leo capricorn is many things have been completed and if it has not been completed you will want to complete those things okay things will come to an end finally and of course Rahu is there in the last degrees of Punar versus fourth pada in Cancer, and because of that, many people have been telling me that they have started. They have started to do many things which they were doing once upon a time. Many friends have been contacting them again. All right, so these things keep happening when prominent planets transit Punar versus Nakshatra. All right, so as March begins, Mercury will get retrograde in Pisces and it will again come back to Aquarius. and then venus will go to capricorn and then it will also join uh mercury in aquarius by you know mid or third week of march and saturn will still be there jupiter will still be there and at the end it will go retrograde in march and okay and mercury will go direct in the end of march okay so march can be another month where the turbulence starts and of course rahu ketu is changing signs in the first week of march okay so there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding this month or anything else of your life then you can please go to my website to book a reading you will find the link to my website down in the description section okay until next time god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him in this month of february and all the months of this year and for rest of eternity okay bye bye see you